Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity with me, Bring It On. Let's return to Stalwart and share the good news. Azuru, an exotic wares merchant, has arrived at your keep and requests an audience. Right. I'll head that way and speak to him momentarily. Sure. We've doubled our manpower at the White Forge. He looks grimly resolute. Most folk here are excited, but anxious. There's already news of Raid Sarens gathering at the border. Only a matter of time before someone takes a swing at us. But this time, we'll be ready. All right, let's go back to Cad Nua. Yeah. My plan is to optimize my party off camera. Go through and swap out everybody's gear. But I'll make a few minor changes once I get my A-team back together. Sure. Uh, good tidings, my lord. I am a zero, famed merchant, purveyor of many valuable and, dare I say, rare objects. And so I would like to remain. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you, something you want resolved as quickly as I, I'm certain. Very well. Let's hear it. Call your allies together. A motion for the petitioner to step forward. It's these bandits, my lord. The roads are absolutely crawling with them. They have the local merchants in a fright. I'm having trouble filling out my stock. My suppliers say the risk is too great. Nobody wants to hear that the fineries sent out for the for delivery have been stolen by unwashed brigands. If I have no goods to sell, I cannot make a living. Nor can I offer you the many special items normally at my disposal. I have one of my allies assist you. Marvelous. I welcome such assistance. Sagani will accompany you. She can scout ahead and keep an eye out for trouble. We'll keep our ears to the ground while we hit Tamak. She scratches the fox's head. Thank you both. I'll tell the others at once. Such a fine guard should ease everyone's fears. Azero gives a polite bow. I would have preferred to put Palangino on that, but we're about to bring her back into the party, so it's not really an ideal time. Right, she can keep all that stuff that she has equipped there. I'm not going to change much of the armors around. And then any equipment that's specific to their class, I'm also not going to take off. Uh, 
Okay, gonna keep him equipped because we still need to grind out the greenstone staff. Yeah. I think the dexterity bonus is probably best. I mean, just in general, being able to act more quickly, you can't go wrong with that. The first thing I'm going to do is swap out for all of my currently bench companions so I can level them up. Uh, Sagani and Grieving Mother will have to wait. I'll juggle around a little bit of equipment and then we'll head out. Still have one more quest in the DLC to do. But we have two more quests from the DLC to do, but one we can't because we can't go back to Defiance Bay yet. But we can do the Siege of Craghold. I was hoping to wait on Grimmy Mother for, but it's not a huge deal. Very well. A hey, Kana, Palgina, Dare. He's busy, busy. May Wal watch your step. All right, start these few. Uh, Kana gets more lore. Let me make sure this isn't. This is level fifteen. I mean, he is level fifteen going into sixteen, or no? Okay. So now his max level. I have to spend all of his points here yet. Mercy and kindness followed wherever she walked. All allies received more endurance from healing effects. Plus 100% healing received. With all your strength, slay the beast. The chain increases allies' accuracy and damage against all enemies of the beast type. Let's get the bonus to healing. And now we do have to spend all of his points. Call to his bidding. Ancient Instruments of Death. The Chanter summons a collection of ancient weapons to attack his or her foes. Summons Animated Greatsword, Animated Pike, and Animated Warbow. Boil their flesh from skin to bone. This ghastly invocation causes victims' bodies and souls to rapidly dissolve, doing raw damage to enemies caught in its path. Get the summon. Oh good, I was afraid I had to respec him, but he already has Weapon Focus Soldier for the uh, Soulbound Arbalest that we have. And we'll just grab Marksman, uh, plus 5 accuracy against distant enemies. Well, he's not going to be that far back, is he? I'm not super keen on any of these. Uh, let's do Aspirant's Mark. The characters attune themselves to the natural world like a druid is able to focus its power on an enemy with the effects of the Nature's Mark spell. It lasts for 42 seconds. It's really good for boss fights. Hey. Hey, Adair, you're up next. Athletics. Yeah, I'll grab Take the Hit. The fighter interposes himself or herself between incoming attacks at nearby allies. The final damage total of any attack against a nearby ally is cut in half 
with the fighter taking the other half as raw damage. Or charge. Do I want charge instead? Let's do charge instead. Take back what I said. I have such a hard time selecting fighter talents. They're all so cool. Okay, let's do charge. The fighter dashes across the battlefield in a flash, inflicting crush damage on anyone caught in his or her path. Super encounter too. Hey. Alright, Aloth. Mechanics. And a new series of spells. Itabald's Black Bow. The wizard summons a frightful bow that does crow damage to enemies and leaves them terrified. Each bolt of energy the wizard fires bounces to one additional target. Kalikoth's Freezing Rake. A ghostly skeletal hand rakes across the area, doing freeze damage to enemies in the area, leaving them weakened and hobbled. Lengrath's Superior Elemental Bulwark. The wizard is protected by elemental shields that guard him or her against burn, corrode, freeze, and shock damage until they are overwhelmed or the duration expires. Major Grimoire Imprint Allows a wizard to temporarily borrow druid, priest, or wizard spells of 7th level or lower for a short duration. The wizard can cast the stolen spells freely. I mean, 84 seconds is not a short duration. <laughs> a Menaletta's Piercing Sigil the wizard invokes the sigil of the famed Valian wizard Menaletta. When he or she is struck in melee, the sigil retaliates with pierce damage, pushing the target back and leaving them stunned. Wall of Many Colors It was a scintillating wall of varied colors that inflicts varied damage and afflictions on enemies passing through it. Wilting Wind A parching wind blows across the battlefield, inflicting raw damage on anyone in the area and leaving them weakened. I'm going to keep Freezing Rake and the Major Grimoire Imprint. And for Spell Mastery, Shadow Flame. Can't go wrong with that. Of course. Alright, Kana is going to get the Arbalest. Can bind his soul to that. Halogena. It respect you anyway. Hey, okay, where? Oh, there it is. The color is just like the white background compared to the blue. It's so similar. Alright, that's her new, lo new loadout. Let's go and respec her while I'm thinking about it. So we're not doing anything new here. I'm not going to read everything that we decide to do with her. So I might... Let's get Lay on Hands. More healing is always welcome. Uh, Greater Low on Hands. I don't think we got that previously, but we'll grab it now. Yeah, I think we'll grab uh, Coordinated Attacks here. She's still going to be semi-support. Uh, deep Faith. I 
only three per rest. I prefer it to be one per encounter. Then just put up my main character and not worry about it. Uh, so I think instead, I mean, healing chain is okay. We'll grab Righteous Soul for the uh, defensive boost against practically everything. <laughs> Alright, gonna get weapon and shield style, which we've selected before in a dare, so I'm not gonna read it again. Okay, uh liberating exhortation has been very handy for us in the past. Gonna keep that on her. Might do hold the line. Oh, she's gonna be using a shield. No, Scion of Flame. What am I doing? I almost forgot to grab that. We're not in the DLC anymore, so I don't need Reviving Exhortation. I don't think we're gonna... Go down anymore. I might just grab Sacred Immolation. I may still go my main character. I think it'll be fine on her as well. So yeah, Sacred Immolation. So there's one more level to go. Sitting pretty. I couldn't find that to her. Alright, so try to optimize some of their gear. Yeah, I'm fine with this because he doesn't need the attack speed. And yeah, he needs concentration. Is that his only... Resolve? I'm not sure. I want him to have the Skull Helmet. Does he have a bonus to Might yet? He does not. Alright, let's get rid of this then. I want his heals to be more potent. He's gonna get... The Skull that gives him plus four. At least for right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through and fully optimize all my companions quite yet. Uh, I just wanna see what they don't have bonuses to. Alright, so she needs Might, Dexterity. Yeah, she's hurting for stuff too. We have... Where's it at? Yeah, Might and Constitution. We can swap out her boots for something else. He loses perception, but we can make up for that elsewhere. Perception, Let's see. It's a lot to go through right now, so I might just hold off on this. Well, no, we're about to do another DLC mission. So I do want these guys a little more optimized. But I might have to do it off camera. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of work hey. here. I'm ready. Huh? Yeah. We also don't have Sagani or Grivy Mother available, so I don't want to commit to going through all this stuff quite yet. But I think she needs some work. We can at least give her a better ring and a better belt. Two better rings. <laughs>
Do you have a constitution bonus yet? A weak one. Okay. Well, that's an easy upgrade. So we'll give her this. A uh, plus three constitution. Oh, uh, we'll look at boots here in a second. An intellect bonus. Yeah, from the breastplate. By the way, she gets this. Oh, we have those boots of dexterity, right? She doesn't have a dexterity bonus yet. Awesome. Uh, those red boots that Manea had equipped. It's taking a little bit longer than I was expecting it to. Alright, now she needs two rings. I don't really care what they are. I might care a little bit. I don't want the generic. Well, this could be good. For her auras. And she is missing perception. Which I could do... Is that where she's getting her intellect from? No. Okay, better idea. We had a necklace that gave plus two to perception. Someone might have it equipped currently. This might be just might be too much to go through on camera. And Gon's pledge might be okay. Who has the uh Oh he has it. Okay. I feel like Palagina just hasn't had a upgrade in a while, so this is much needed. Actually, I'd rather have a passive effect. Let's just get the deflection. Since she has a shield now, just stack that up a bit. Okay. Huh? Pretty happy with that. Let's rest again, make sure everybody has the bonus to dexterity. I'm sorry if I was a little tactless before, about your being a watcher. I didn't really understand what was involved. Is it hard, hearing the spirits all the time? It's actually been fairly useful. You've handled all of this with remarkable calm. I'm not sure I could do the same if I were in your place. There's no denying that the dead make for excellent sources of information at times. Kana coughs. Sorry. At any rate, we're bound to find a solution for this. You count on my help until we do. Thanks, buddy. Alright, I'm going to swap out Aloth for Horavius, just in the hopes that we can finish grinding out his soulbound weapon. Mm. Farewell. Huh? Okay, Odena Fear Guest is back at Cad Nua. The hero of the Saints' War has arrived at the Stronghold. She's asked for an audience with you. Okay, uh, let's go back and take care of that then. This will work out better. Because then I can wrap it up nicely at Cad Nua, and then off camera, 
deal with optimizing my party's equipment. And then I'll just go over all the changes I made off camera. So I just wasted all that time with Palagina. That's okay. Not we'll figure it out. Now that we're done with the DLC, it's not as important to optimize since the rest of the game is not going to be that difficult. <laughs> I mean, we're blitzing through most of the base campaign's content without any issue. So I assume that's going to be the case going forward. Unfortunately. I got a moment, but appreciate a chance to talk. My lord, I don't wish to trouble you, but I could use your help in a personal matter. Very well, let's hear it. Call your allies together and motion for the petitioner to step forward. This is harder to say than I thought it would be. My name is Odena. I fought in the Saints' War, same as most of my kin. I followed orders, no more. But between one thing and another, I guess I made a reputation for myself. They call me a hero. Every street I walk down, I get handshakes and comments. The dozens. They act like I'm some figurehead for their schemes. Things I've done. I don't get much sleep. The last thing I need is all this attention. All I want is some peace. Please. You're the only one I can turn to. Perhaps one of my companions here can help you. Yeah? How do you mean? I'm keeping Adair in the party, so I'll send Manea. Manea's a good listener. She can help you take some of this off of your off your shoulders. I've seen a few battles myself. It's hard for folk who haven't to know what it's really like. Yes, that... I think this will help. Thank you, Lord Donald. You don't know what this means to me. check one more thing on her equipment. What is this at? Good white forge it. We'll hold off on that until I optimize everybody's equipment. And I'm sure this is what she's going to keep. But I'm going to play it mm. safe. Last thing the deer would... Colony. All right, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll head towards Craghole mm -hmm. Bluffs. Yeah. And deal with the siege there. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.